Whoa. Nice! One of the best places to learn about the electromagnetic spectrum is outside, here where the sun is shining, because the sun gives off almost the entire spectrum, all the way from the long waves to the short waves. And that's why when we come outside, we can feel the heat from the sun. That's why we get a suntan or a sunburn on our skin, because the sun is giving off all of the different types of electromagnetic radiation. Maybe back when you were a kid, you'd go out on a sunshiny day and you'd get out a magnifying glass and you let the sun shine in one side. It made a little sharp beam of light on the grass and that light might have started the grass on fire. That's because you're focusing all of that visible light, that infrared light, all into one spot. So if you could do that with a magnifying glass this size, imagine what you could do with a massive one like this. So this is a Fresnel lens. This is off of the front of a 51 inch big screen TV. I've got the sun up high. It's a beautiful day, 90 some degrees, and it's shining down. And now this is focusing just like it did with this into one spot down here. So it's taking all of that energy and pounding it into this steel plate. What we're gonna try to do today is put some things in that beam of light and see what happens. This is amazingly bright. One, two, three, flame. Nice! So if we're gonna start cooking things with the sun, the obvious place to start is with America's favorite food, bacon. Smell that? It's called the Maillard reaction. That's when meat and protein undergo a chemical reaction. When you smell barbecue and cooking meat, mm, it smells so good thanks to Mr. Maillard who figured out what that reaction was. This is your brain. This is your brain on infrared radiation. How do you like your eggs? Oh, 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 look at that. Hold her up. We've got pressurized cola inside of here. We've got aluminum can on the outside, and that should be focused enough energy, I would think, to compromise this aluminum. And it should pop, which is why I'm going to set this in there, and then I'm getting out of here. Go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, pinhole. Look at that. Oh, Right all over the oh! <laughs> That's the best one yet, look at that! As cool as it is to blow up a can with the energy from the sun, I'm hoping it's even more cool in infrared. Oh my gosh, so look, there it is. It's heating, it's heating. Oh, that's awesome! The cold pop is like dark black because it's cold, it doesn't have any infrared energy in it. Look at it swashing around in there. It melted that aluminum. It was under pressure and it just... Seriously, that's cool. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Little pinhole in there. We have the sun to thank for a lot of things. And today, we can thank the sun for helping make an ooey gooey, hmm, more. Now this is the best part of science right here. It's getting to taste the sweet stuff. Uh-huh. Oh. Nice! Well, thanks for watching. To see the latest from FLIR, click on subscribe or come on over to the channel and check out all the amazing things that Infrared is showing us.